All right, so in this vid, let's clean up everything and make sure it's named appropriately. I know that the stools are already, so that's good. I'll just close that up. I think we named the table uh, everything we needed it to be. The only thing we didn't do was actually group it. So I'm going to come in here and select these chairs, right-click them, and hide the selection of those. And then what I'll do is just take the table here and I'll group it and call it DR for dining room table like that now that's grouped and I'm going to um, oops, I'm going to select it and hide that the glasses are called wine glass 1 and wine glass 2 which are fine the candles, candle 1, candle 2, candle 3 is fine the legs, not a leg, so we'll call it candle base. And I'll put a DR in front of that to make sure it's the dining room. This is DR plant. I'm going to open this. And this is DR vase. And these are all planes, and that's not good because that's not what I want. So, what I'm actually going to do is I'm just going to delete these, and I'm going to take this one going to the side here. I'm going to open up this bend and take the center which is right here I think. Let's see what do I want to do. I'm going to put it right here at the end just like that. Okay and then I'm going to affect pivot only um, and move it to right here at that spot. Okay and then I'm just going to roughly put it into place because this way, if I scale it or anything, it comes from that point, which is good. And if I do any bends, it's going to come from that. And that's exactly what I want right there. So it's good that we're going to actually redo this. All right, I'm going to leave that right there. And I'm going to call it DR plant leaf underscore 01. And uh, yes, we're going to texture just one later and redo this whole process of uh, copying around but um, you know whatever and what I'm gonna do is go to effect pivot only and I'm gonna move it off of it a little bit like right around here so that way they're not necessarily going to overlap each other when I do this shift rotate so let's rotate it I think 45 degrees is what I did last time not sure We'll go seven of them, just like that. And that way it looks a lot better. And I can take one and I can make it a little bigger than the other ones. I can take this one right, right here, make it a little smaller than the others. You know, something like this, like that. Take some of these and do the bend a little less, you know, like this one can go down a little more, this one can go down a tad, this one can go up, and all of this we actually do more so in the texturing part because we're going to texture one leaf and then reorganize everything again. So we have that. Everything's named appropriately, so let's close this group. Looks good. Let's uh, right click and unhide all. Let's select everything and group it and call it dr underscore um, table set or D, yeah table set group sure why not now let's do that and since we're only at four minute mark let's go ahead and save it so save as and call it uh, cleanup like that all right so now I'm going to open the scenes. I'm going to go into the last one, the Merge Living Room, and open that. Take a second here. Okay. And now what I'm going to do, open the Layer Manager here, go back to the default layer right there. And I'm going to go to File, Merge, go up into my dining set and click the last one which was cleanup 
click open, take that and click OK. Use the scene material and that will bring that in right there. What we'll do is put it over here into place where we want it to be. Which is kind of right here. I'm going to turn off the CAD file so I can see what's going on. And I'm going to go into the top view. You can see there is some kind of circular point right here and that's basically telling us this is where the light is. So I'm going to center this around that light. You see how small this is? It's nice. Keeping everything small makes the room and the house look bigger and keeping everything low to the ground makes it look like everything is um, like you're in a taller space when you're not. So we have that over there. I'll hit F3 just so I can see what I'm doing. Alright, and I think that looks relatively good. I'm going to click this and I'm going to say add or create a new layer containing these selected objects. And that will put it on there. I'll click that once and call it dining room. Dining room set. And now we have that. So we can hide that if we want to as well. All right, so I hit F3 so I can move or, or maneuver around this a little better. Okay, and since we're still here, what I'll do is I'll click this and I'll open this group. And what I want is the um, area rug. So I'm gonna rename it DR for dining room area rug. I'm gonna detach it from that group, select that group, close it. And I'm gonna take this. and I'm just going to click this plus mark. It says add selected objects to highlighted layer. So now it's definitely in our dining room group, as you can see. Okay, so I'm going to click that rug and bring it over here. And then in my top view, I'm just going to actually adjust the vertices. I'm not going to do any scaling of it. So I'm just going to bring it in. So an area rug defines and separates rooms as well you don't always need a wall so a rug will do just fine too you have to be careful too because a rug will also make a room look smaller so you kinda playing between those two making the room look smaller and dividing rooms from each other especially in open spaces like this so we have that we have a nice little area rug to go on it and what I'm gonna do is actually make it just a little bit wider for realism Something like that. Okay, good. Now we have that. We have the dining room set in. We have the living room set in. Any additional things like the um, the ceiling fans, the light fixtures, you know, extra little uh, pictures and paintings on the wall, any extra plant or whatever that we might have in this, will be definitely going towards the end of the DVD when we do a sweep through of every room and make sure we have the things that we need uh, before we go on to texturing. So if you think that it's missing something right now, go ahead and add it before you move on. That's fine, but like I said, it'll be taken care of by the end of the video. So um, what that does is uh, conclude the dining room set. And from here on, what I'm going to do is move on to the kitchen. By the time you get the DVD, everything will be done so you can actually go to whichever room you want to and finish or start on something else. But as for me, I'm going to move on to the kitchen since we're right here at it. So I'll either see you then or in another video.